New tonight, the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office rescued 55 pit bulls from a terrible animal hoarding situation in the South Valley. Severe animal hoarding cases in Bernalillo County have remained in the headlines for months as more and more cases are discovered. Last June in the South Valley, 55 pit bulls were rescued from a hoarding situation. Five months later, another hoarding case. This one into Harris, where 60 dogs were rescued from horrific conditions. What you're looking at here is probably anywhere from knee to waist high cat feces. So the most recent one was in January. Um, it was in the mountains. There were numerous different animals in the house. There were dogs, cats, birds, livestock. There were numerous different dead animals in different cages around the house. Hearing about the details is horrifying enough. Are you gonna be nice? Being the ones on the scene to rescue and investigate can be crushing. It's hard to go in those houses and see those type of things, but we do have the county chaplain for fire um, is available to us and we do have different resources. Um, EAP comes here once a month for all staff, not just officers, if they're having any sort of issues or any you know troubles. It is a hard job, not just in the field, but at the shelter as well. A lot of our referrals are coming from either animal care services or our deputies in the field. Maybe a deputy responds to a domestic violence incident and they're like, you know what, there's a lot of animals here and they report something like that. Some of these have been pretty disturbing. It seems fairly obvious that you know, they would have known that those conditions were there, and it's just sad to, to have to kind of pick up the pieces afterwards. Four-year-old Nelda was one of the pit bulls rescued from the house with 55 dogs. She never had the interaction with people. She never had uh, a, a normal home with a yard, with food available, water available. Pam Harley and her husband are Nelda's foster parents. We brought her home. She was shivering from fright. She hid in the bushes in our backyard for two days. She's just fearful of life. And I can't imagine any, anything going, you know, domesticated, going through life so fearful. She says the emotional scars from Nelda's former life haven't faded. Sadly, her story isn't rare in these cases. So we have ones also that look healthy, they look great, they come in and they're just aggressive or they've never been handled, they've never been treated you know, nicely by people, so they don't trust us. And unfortunately those ones, you know, we have to do other, other means with those. But it's also traumatic, for lack of a better word, um, to see the animals that are in these extreme conditions, they're starving. Um, some of them sadly won't make it. The animals that are rescued are brought to animal care services. When we find out that there's a hoarding case, it becomes very stressful. Getting all the medical stuff ready, getting kennels set up, because it affects the staff. It's more animals that we have to take care of, more animals that we get emotionally invested in. It's also what about the animals that are already in our care that we're trying to work with? You know, it takes time away from them. When they do get better, unfortunately, sometimes the outcome isn't what we would like, and we have to say goodbye to those animals, and that's the hard part. It's, there's definitely aspects of it that stick with you, but it's, it's incredibly rewarding to be kind of part of the solution and being there and, and getting these animals out. And there's so much good that we see um, and get to be a part of. You know, we see the, the animals that recover and we get to see them be adopted and we get to interact with them and watch their, their journeys. If I can make just the tiniest bit of difference and even just a few lives before I leave the department, that, that's what I want to do. I do this obviously for the animals. That's the only reason why I'm here, is to care for the animals and it makes me happy to see them go to a home. If you see something, say something. If you're hearing a lot of animals at a property, you're seeing a lot of animals, you know, definitely say something so that we don't get into these situations where we're taking in 50, 60 dogs at a time.